Hey guys, what's up? Me on Coverdale, and uh, yeah, I'm doing the video in the dark time or night time. Uh, it's like, let's see, it's sorry about that. Um, it's probably around uh eight o'clock right now, something like that. Seven thirty. It gets dark. It might, it might even be six o'clock right now. I don't know. It gets dark real, real late now. Um, but uh, you see, you got the smell right here. I um, I got it for. 10 bucks today. I got it for 10 bucks. Um, so, I got it for 10 bucks. Um, well, pretty much got it for free, but 10, let's say 10 bucks in gas, whatever. Uh, we went to go pick it up. It was in Georgetown. Uh, we live in uh, Milford, and Georgetown's like half hour away from here. I mean, yeah, so half hour away. Um, it, it was originally a 16 horsepower, 16 and a half horsepower and a 42 inch cut and a six speed um i got it uh for a part smeller pretty much but um uh, or the guy said it was for parts because there was no motor in it that's pretty much it i have the gas tank it's laying over on the floor right there um i got all the parts to it pretty much i got the deck the decks right there uh the, the blades are pretty bad on the deck but that deck right there i don't know if you can see it it has um good blades on it so and then it has a brand new belt on it, so and that one, well, that one's good too. Um, the only thing it's really missing is, like I said, a motor, and it's missing um, the deck pulleys there for the deck and motor. Um, but it's missing the transmission or the drive belt, not the mower deck, the drive belt that drives the mower. Um, I don't know if the tires hold air. I just put some air in. That one I know does not hold air. I mean, it holds air for a little while, but it goes flat. This one I'm debating on. I don't know if it's going to hold. I think it's it probably not going to hold. That front one I think it's going flat already. That one I think might be all right. And the two front ones might be all right. Uh, if they are, I'm going to put them in front of my my pop-up screen mark. The tires on it, they go flat over a couple days. So This mall right here is going to donate its motor to this one. Um... If you don't know this mower it's been sitting in the woods for a little while um i parked it in the woods and or not in the woods but back by the woods this hood does not like to come off oh i just see look at that it just broke into two pieces see that's there. it just fell off okay well uh, that's pretty brittle it's in good shape uh it's if you can see it's a, I don't know what kind of, it's a 15.5 horsepower. So it, it'll be uh, downing a horsepower, one horsepower, but then that's not a big deal. Um, this thing is straight pipe. It's loud, but uh, we got to put a muffler on it. We can't mow grass like that. Um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, pretty much from that, everything's, I'm um, take the motor off of it and made a throttle cable and all that, but I left the key on. It don't do anything. Battery's stone dead, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, the motor did run when I parked it. It just ran out of gas, so. Yep, so we're gonna take that motor off to probably tomorrow, maybe. We'll make a video on it. So, that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. This hood just... The hood's not connected anymore, let's say that. It's falling into two pieces, so. Hood's definitely not connected anymore. I mean, maybe if you'd said. The hood is... Dunsky. Look at that, I just threw it. And it literally disconnected into three pieces. Let's try this one. Yep, two pieces. <laughs> Piece of crap. There we go. Fix it. Yep, there's the hood. <laughs> Plastic. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and take this motor off tomorrow. There, I can see a better, better view of the motor now. But yeah, we'll take the motor off tomorrow. We'll see how hard it's to take off. I don't think it's going to be that hard, but, uh, yeah. So, that's what we'll be working on tomorrow. Probably might, might put a new carburetor on. I don't know. And I'm probably going to get rid of this Toro cover because I have a Briggs and Stratton cover that should fit on that. If not, I'll just ride it with a Toro cover. It won't make a difference. I'm going to put the wheels from this mower on that one. Um, I'm, if those don't hold air, th that tire holds air, that tire holds air. This one doesn't, and that one doesn't, but... Those are cut like mix max tires, so it'll be nice just to have three or 
all different all the same tread on it i'll i hope these will fit the back ones i try getting them off they won't come off but i'm thinking of just getting a hammer and beating them off because i'm not worrying about this transmission i don't care about the transmission i mean i'm going to be junking the rest of the mower i might take the seat off of it but the rest of the mower i'll probably be chucking like i said i'll probably take the front wheels off back wheels uh gas tank like i said the motor and all the key switch and all that and the seat and uh probably the battery the springs and battery tray all that good stuff stuff that you're gonna need um i might take the transmission now i don't think i'm gonna do that because then i won't be able to get on the trailer so probably won't do that um but yeah so that's what be what we're gonna be doing tomorrow putting that motor on that that's on that thing onto this thing so but yeah um gonna lock everything up for the night um and we'll get back to it tomorrow morning and i'll make a video uh my friend uh ian is gonna be coming over tomorrow so he'll probably help me on it so um yeah so stay tuned for the more videos and uh like subscribe comment and share the video and uh, also i pulled that mower out of the woods of this thing my mud mower pulled it right out so but yeah guys that's gonna be it for this video short little video Showing you my my new free pull-on mower. Let's get the thumbnail here. There we go. Um, so we're just gonna add you guys up here. So, but yeah, this was a um, this was a school. This was a, a school today, definitely. So, got my new free pull-on mower here. Um. Again, like I said, we'll be putting the new motor or the used motor on it tomorrow. Um, so that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. It's a six speed, like I said, and I check it shifts into all gears. But for some reason, I put it in neutral and it doesn't like to move. So I put it, it's in neutral and I, I tried moving around a little bit. stuff but, but yeah this was definitely a score so score so but yeah so stay i guess like i said stay tuned for more videos like subscribe comment and share the video and uh, stay tuned for more videos later <laughs>